sir. We live. We're live. Are we live? Oh, we are live. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? <laughs> I was just looking at we the just, top left corner. I was like, oh, we are live. We're just getting a little bit of work in here to start off the episode, you know, casual yeah. stuff, casual, 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 casual. I'm your host, Lego J3, joined as always by Mr. Ken Nerd. What's up, it's everybody? A little bit of work for our episode here first, so you'll have to forgive him for a second. But I think we can go ahead while he does that and roll our intro. <laughs> there we go hello hello welcome back to season six episode i don't even know episode seven. seven seven yes Guess i'm just like a space case right now i don't know is it episode seven yeah, it's episode I think it seven. Is. I think it is. I did math. <laughs> like a count, but part of me's just like, is this episode seven? <laughs> Listen, guys, we've been doing this a long time now, you know. <laughs> oh, but here we are. Um, sorry for the hang up. A little bit of a late start, guys. We had originally entertained the idea of some guests coming on, but they had things arise. So respectfully, hey. They couldn't do it tonight. We're okay with that. We're flexible. <laughs> super flexible. We're super flexible. We like having guests. You people are fun. Good chats with. Hey, something happens. Life happens. Exactly. It does, you know. But hey, uh, um, I definitely know in the future they'll be more than happy to come on here. I think one of the worries was they were wondering if they were blacklisted because they just <laughs> because they needed to uh, not be on here. And obviously, you miss roll call. You're out. Never no. again. Never. Uh, never. We'll always invite you back on. We'd love <laughs> to definitely have you because there's always something to talk about. And definitely want to hear everyone's side of the story. <laughs> uh, we don't want to miss out on that. Exactly. Uh, uh, so obviously I wasn't here last week. Ken participated without me with Mr. <laughs> Foolish Desperato. Yes, uh, we have Foolish Desperado on here, which was super exciting. The dude's, the dude's awesome. The dude is super yes. awesome. Um, I'm all for the guy. Uh, really, really funny, and super like into the '80s and '90s nostalgia, which I really like. And we were, we were talking a lot about the. Um, we talked a lot about Marvel and Star Wars. And then we talked about just like the 80s, 90s era, <laughs> basically just talking about all the random stuff that we used to do when we were kids and all the stuff that we had seen during that time frame, which was really awesome. I was creeping. I did listen to the episode. Uh, fun fact for everybody, I was on the road last Thursday and I had a horrible day. Oof. Horrible. Your, your signal is going in and out bad. Is it? Damn. Yeah, it's like it's going in, <laughs> in and out. Ugh. So, yeah, I had a horrible... We were supposed to make a five-hour drive from somewhere, and it turned into a nine-hour drive, and we'll just leave it there. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. I'm done driving long distances. Ken, I will not be joining you on the road to Brick Fair, Virginia. That sucks. You Listen, suck. I have horrible <laughs> luck driving more than three hours at a time i'd say dude that's totally fine um i <laughs> i kind of figured you would ditch me you could you just like fly me? i could just fly but then i don't have the money for tickets plus i had to pay taxes today which kind of sucked Ooh. It, you have yeah. four more days to pay them off you could have waited i mean yeah i could have waited but life is life <laughs> i'm gonna have to pay them somehow They'll always yeah. come back to get me. Oh, but no. Don't you just hate that when you're one of returns, so you can spend some money on Lego or something fun, and then bam, you owe money. <laughs> federal oh, taxes sucks. Dude, federal taxes really hit me bad this year, and I hate that. And I'm just like, really? Like this is what happened? I feel no. Like they went up. 
feel like they increased. <laughs> they, man, they definitely increased. I was super mad. I was just like, this is just not cool. Not at all. I was yeah. not really happy about that. Oh my okay, god. Seamus. <laughs> There's a little bit of an Australian accent there. I dig it, but <laughs> I know, right? I tried. They're from your South Carolina. <laughs> I oh man, I was <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> Don't be making fun, man. You already know I'm a Georgia boy. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I just want to make fun of South Carolina. Time for another episode of BNN. Absolutely. Got a brand new episode. And we've got some... We've definitely got some stuff in store for y'all today. I know we had plans to bring on a guest tonight, but things change and we are all about that. Um, I'm actually working on something right now for this episode, which I am slacking. Um, I'm trying to get this created. But while I'm getting this stuff created, have you been watching... Uh, have you watched X-Men? I have not. You know... Oh, dude, it's so good. I heard you guys talking about it last week, and I've been meaning to watch it. But I wanted to rewatch the original first, and I... That's totally fair. I was so I... busy catching up on Halo because I fell out of halo for a little minute that i didn't have think to catch up on that but i have caught up on halo i finished it so now i can but truthfully i'm in the middle of a binge of gray's anatomy really i'm eight seasons deep i think or seven seasons i don't know that is dude you've got a lot in store for you i know i'm a, I know. like every time i'm like jenny what's why, why are they leaving? Why are they dying? Like, what makes you think they're dying? I'm like, I'm assuming, like, I am assuming, like, this is happening um, right now. The there was definitely some shocking deaths. I will say that, dude. Yeah, no, you are in store for a lot of what's happening on that show. It's definitely gonna, it's definitely gonna shock you, especially if you've gotten as far as season eight. It kind of makes you, you know, like a little over over worry when you like, you know, I've got this cough and it's lingering in my chest. I really feel it. <laughs> Maybe I gotta go have surgery. I gotta go to Seattle <laughs> Mercy West Grace Hospital or whatever. I'm about to say, have you gotten past the the merger? Yeah, they merged. Okay, you've gotten to the merger. Have you? I am. Um... This I'm is trying after not to... the adoption process where it fails the first time. Okay. I'm assuming they get the kid back because. I mean. Jenny's like, why, why do you think this person dies? Why do you think this person leaves? I'm like, I've seen you watch episode season 20. Like, we've talked about it. I know people aren't there anymore. It's I know like, it's expensive I... to keep on Derek for 20 seasons because McDreamy's a very McNeedy actor. Dude, yes. Patrick does like he's the bad guy in um, Transformers. Transformers three. That he was... was a jerk in Valentine's Day. Like I've seen these people in other things. I'm like Catherine Heigl was big in movies for a while. I'm like obviously oh, she's yeah. not staying on the show. I remember her in uh, The Ugly Truth. Yep, that was the first movie I thought of. I was like, wasn't with... she just in that movie with Gerard Butler in like 2000? 12 or whatever this, this exactly was happening. she's like why do you just assume that she can't film two things i'm like because her movie career was skyrocketing at the time and that was the thing that i remember watching from her like to be fair i remember her from knocked up and then of course um this is 40 no she wasn't in this is 40 that was um no she wasn't in this was for this is 40 um, but I know she was in good lord. She was of course in the ugly truth and then of course in um <laughs> knocked up. Yeah. Those are the two that I remember her from specifically. Then there was um oh what's that movie? Uh I can't think of it right now. <laughs> it's something but have you watched Resident Alien? Absolutely not. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> no, I, I live that because I am an alien. 
I'm, I'm going to be like totally honest. I have not watched that yet. How could you get past this fortress? It's just, <laughs> it's impenetrable. <laughs> the front door is open. Captain Heigl. Son of a bitch. Deadly truth, Grays, yada, yada, yada. Uh, things I don't watch. Things I don't watch. <laughs> things I don't watch. What was that movie? Uh, Life as we know it. That's the. That's one. Killers with Ashton Kutcher. Oh yeah, um, that one I remember. I forgot about that movie though. I remember, but then I just like oh, hey, hey, hey. forgot about it. Yeah, a lot of Marty Catherine Heigl. My wife says my dog's in here, but I don't see him. I am like oh, he went back out. <laughs> what the... the way he says sob sob. Well, no, he says son of a bitch. You in the... son of a bitch. He says it so funny. He's just like, the fortress is impenetrable. How did you get past them? It's like the front door was open. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's kind of like my dog. He just sneaks in. It's like, how did he do that? That is impressive. Super, quick question while you're here. Aren't you at... No, Milwaukee was last week, wasn't it? Yeah. I yes, because they were going the weekend after we saw them. I hope it went well. Yes, I hope it went well. Yeah, I hope you did fun well. things. Speaking of them, so my Lego update is here in my hand. Nice. I ordered myself some minifigures. Dude, that's One's dope. with a little crazier hair, one's with some normal looking hair. I did put them in shorts and tank tops. <laughs> that's awesome, man. And he's even got a scruffy beard because I got a scruffy beard. Nice. So I will be sending one to Superhawk what? for the lovely... Is... Oh, they're currently Just... making their way to Milwaukee. Okay. I will be sending one to Superhawk so they can include me in their disc golf game. I... Can he be riding a raptor? I'm just going to throw it out there. Dead. Raptor. Maybe strangling a sand person. I mean, listen, there's opportunities here, really. <laughs> but yeah, you know, um, so I wanted to order specific ones. And I know, you know, you could do the... See what they have in the Lego bins. Obviously, kind of like what Super said, looking in there, there's really not a whole lot of like consistency. But Minifig Me is a nice little website. It is UK based, so I think it will take a little bit longer, depending. Yeah. This took about two weeks to ship to me, so not bad considering. But um, relatively decently priced, I'd say. Not too crazy. You just. Build it as you please. You could. They have a wide selection of T-shirts, the uh, pants, obviously hairs, all the colors, everything. Yeah, that's why I was wondering. Like, I, I definitely want to make myself a minifigure. Um, I know I have the capability to do so. Let's see. You do it on Bricklink. You could do it on Minifig Me. I do. I just have to find. Um, it sucks because I have to find like a specific. I have to find the glasses and the bearded face. Mm. So it's just like, eh, you thought. just gotta do the effort. <laughs> <laughs> what you saying, Jake? <laughs> just do it. Just do it. <laughs> this is my official, you know, shout out holler to everybody here watching. Be sure to send your minifigs to Superhawk, and they will include you in the fun disc golf that they have set up at all the brick fairs and brick worlds. I can't wait to see it in person when I go and see them in never, I guess, because they're not bringing it to Virginia, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they said that. Let's see here. I am almost done with this little project of ours. <laughs> I wish I did this sooner. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't think they're bringing uh, this golf to Brick Fair, Virginia, which we've established we will be at. Oh, boo. That would have been awesome, though. I think they, they said it was something with the boots or whatever, but... I... 
I the dynamic I'm... builder will be having a booth. See, I need to. Would it be funny if we had a booth? What would we be booth about, though? Exactly. Oh, I, I don't think we necessarily need to get a booth. I was just, it was just kind of spitballing. I'm just gonna throw it out there, Supa. If you are having the mountain, don't forget what Mr. Dynamic said about Friday night. Because we want to hang out with you. Exactly. You know, for all of us uh, that won't be participating in the booths, we might be doing something fun. We'll see. Like going to a baseball game? Maybe. Maybe, please. Maybe. I was leaving some surprise for people, you know. We got a friends coming in across the country, across the pond. We were that one's the huge them. surprise. Yeah. <laughs> It's like that I'm pretty sure we've said it. Surprise. I don't know. <laughs> we yeah, most likely we've said it. Yeah. I think we've alluded to it. Safety meeting, yes, safety meeting. Exactly. <laughs> that's how that's how we're pulling this out. It's actually, we're all gonna get together and sing a chorus of my favorite song together. <laughs> it's really simple, everybody. Um, it goes. One eight seven seven cars for kids. K A R S cars for kids. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Donate your car today. <laughs> <laughs> so what Jenny the hates shit? the one thing Jenny hates about me is so uh, the um the Yankees we listen to them in the in the car on Sirius XM, and so you're listening to the yeah. radio broadcast. That commercial is on every commercial break. Cars for kids. You're going to hear it. It's going to be stuck in your head for the rest of the day. And it's stuck in my head. Even though I didn't even watch the Yankees today because they were on a off day. That's... <laughs> every so often I just think about K-A-R-S cars for kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i finally got our little project done but we can do that kind you want to do your lego update first i believe you have one yes i do have one um i let me see if i can if i could pull the photo up because i had taken a picture of it and i don't have it with me because it's currently at my job um i'll go over said thing let me see if i can pull it up here I open this in a different way just so that way no one's looking at all the files that we have. <laughs> see if just this sponsor, this, uh, just to clarify, this podcast is not sponsored by any commercial jingle sung by Jake. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Listen, if they want to sponsor me, I'll get it down. All right, now so we're gonna play the little ad with the kids playing the guitars in the white room. One eight seven seven cars for kids. <laughs> Now, I will say this. If you haven't seen the overlay already, take that look down here. You could like, follow, and subscribe to ELPN. And then, of course, you can see our content. But I'm going to hide it for right now. If you also want me to never sing again on the show, you can donate specifically to me. Cash app, JG247333. It's like, if you definitely don't want to hear and sing, just donate. Donate some cash today. <laughs> oh god okay window here we go um so my lego update um i'm gonna give a special shout out to my manager uh so my manager just got Ooh. back from this long leave and she was basically away for a good amount of time and she's done putting up with you needed a break i get it i get it. oh yeah she was done putting up with me and was really over it but uh she came back to work the moment i heard her voice i was like oh my god she's back I'm so happy she's back. And Is it she like a had, fudge reaction or an exciting reaction? Oh, super exciting reaction. But she she had she had a Lego in her hand. I was like, that for me? And she was like, yeah, it's for you. I was like, what? So she gave me the orchid. She gave me the Lego orchid. And I built it while I was at work. And I really it was really a great stress relief while i was there and she was just like let me let me take a picture of it whenever you get done with it 
Um, do you think you'll be able to finish it by the end of work? And I was like, Pff. Pff. <laughs> do you think I would? Come do on. you think I would finish this at the end of work? Yeah, of course, I'll finish this at the end of work. By the time, by the time I was about to leave, uh, it was around like four o'clock and she was just like, oh my God, you finished it? I was like, look, if I didn't have to do all the work that needed to be done on my shift, I probably could have done this a lot sooner. I probably could have completed this early in the morning when you gave it to me. <laughs> um, you know, I was thinking about it the other day. I saw somebody who's not a Lego person like online and whatnot had a Lego set on his desk. And I was like, why don't I have any Legos in the office? Oh, dude, Probably it was because hilarious. I, work. I mean, I already don't really work, but I really oh, dude, it was hilarious work. for me. Um, my so I'm a supervisor at my job and my agents all looked at it and they're like, oh, my God, this is so cool. And like what soup is saying right now, it's low maintenance. All I got to do is really just dust it off. I don't have a green thumb. I don't make things. Grow. And she lives. You have a green brick. There we go. You have a green brick. <laughs> but the thing, the funny thing to me is like, I enjoyed <laughs> this build. I, I actually enjoyed this build. Yes, it's a little like it's don't get me wrong. A lot of the botanical collections are repetitive. But I enjoyed this. I really I mean, you got to make it. what, like seven of similar stems or so every time. You are a speed build champion. Of course, you're going to build it quick. Numero uno. <laughs> From uh, the first former. one. Not anymore. You've been replaced. I, will, I will take first one. I really would. I have been replaced. I've been replaced. You have been by the dethroned. Guy. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, the guy who dethroned me is the guy who I beat. So he and I are evens right now. We're evens. We're good. What's up, foolish? How are you doing, man? I still love his story about how he got his name. Um, dude, did you watch episode five? Did you watch episode five yet of X-Men 97? Please don't no spoilers, because I did watch it, and I will say I actually cried. Dude, who knew anime who knew animation could hit so hard for Marvel? I was I mean, sad. animation can hit hard in anything. Quick, what's an animated movie that you cried to? Movie or TV show? Uh, we'll go movie. Well, actually, I'll take both. I will take both. What's what's an animated TV show that you cried to? Gundam Wing, the original one. Really? That one was sad. Okay. That was one of the first animes I really got into. Clearly, also like Dragon Ball. And um. And then what's an you animated know who also movie? who had a very sad ending in a in a movie? Arduck. Father of Goku. Oh. Yeah. See, I say with... cry, but I don't really cry. <laughs> you just got really feel sad. it. I feel it swelling. What about so what about movie? What about animated movie? What did you cry to? Yeah, the Barduck was Oh uh, Barduck, movie. okay. Yeah, that's I movie. for me, when it came to an animated movie that I cried to, um was it the dude, Lion King? No, it was not the Lion King. Although Bambi. that's that is definitely a tear, that is definitely a tear jerking movie um, with Mufasa. Um, no, dude, I it. I cried at the end of uh, I cried at the end of the movie Coco. Oh, that one is really sad, dude. That one was sad, especially when he starts singing to his grandma the song that you uh, have to her remember, father made. Grandma Coco. I was so sad. Dude, my wife and I, we started bawling our eyes out. We're like, oh my god. The slow version of Remember Me claps, okay? It it really it it pulls on the heartstrings. When you hear the song for the first time, you're just thinking when you hear the song for the first time, you hear like this whole like promising and very exciting version of it and then when you actually hear the actual meaning behind the song towards the end when Hector sings it you're just like oh my god <laughs> that was know, remember me is not my favorite my, not my favorite song in that movie though no remember me is loco yes <laughs> 
You are only un poco loco. <laughs> she said, put it on your head, mi amor, mi amor. Es un poco loco. Um. So I haven't received that five ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you need to stop. Singing. <laughs> but no, yeah, no. Um, TV show or so animated movie. It was Coco for me, and then um, TV show. I didn't really have a TV show until X Men ninety seven came out with this new episode. Holy crap! I That's was fair. like, I was sitting there. I was like. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you know what movie really made me? The first movie to actually ever make me really cry. Marley and me. Oh my god. Anything with a dog in it, though. God damn. Dude, any you have to hit that hard with putting the dog down. The kid's crying, and the mom's crying, and the dad's crying, and yeah. Um... There have been, I will say this, there are definitely some episodes from Grey's Anatomy where I was like choking back tears because some of them characters like really hit another level and I was like, no, why? <laughs> it's like, why did this happen? I like how we went from uh, Lego to tear jerking moments right now. <laughs> you know, clearly, a clearly, moment is on the lava pits of Mustafar in the Lego Star Wars game when he says, <laughs> you are my brother! You were supposed to join the Sith, not join them! I hate you! Dude, um... I like those if-you-know-you-know know moments, and then they would just show a coffee mug with, like, the abbreviations. Yep. And... <laughs> I have brought pre peace... And freedom to my new galaxy. Totally uh, wrong words. I will just like out there. Like wrong words. <laughs> yeah, well. I have brought Stupo peace over here with the a Bambi and old yeller and justice and security to my new empire. Your your new empire. Don't make me kill you. You know, I'm still waiting to see if they're going to do a Kenobi season two. We got. Did you? Oh, well, I would love to see a Kenobi season two because I need to see Liam Neeson being a force ghost mentor to Obi-Wan to teach him the ways of the force even further. You know what they just need to do? I know people aren't going to agree with it because people will think it was done perfectly already. But we need the live action true death of Darth Maul. I mean, that's not a bad Listen, idea. That was an emotional, heightened sense of peace and understanding. For Maul's like, you're not hiding. You're you're here for a purpose. I still like his. Um, I still like how Sam Witwer described the fight scene because mm -hmm. it's perfectly done. How he uh, he went he, from Qui Gon to confuse him. Yes, for his own stance. Well, he goes into like this whole. He holds the lightsaber out in front of him, where it's like his younger self is Obi Wan. Then he kind of go. He goes back into like new school Obi Wan from Revenge of the Sith, and then where he goes he's fighting. Into, like, and then he goes into Qui Gon mode because he knows that Qui Gon. Because he knows how to counter Qui Gon. What Qui Gon messed up. And the beautiful thing behind it is like. It's not even like it's not even a long duel. It's three seconds tops, and it's beautifully done. Oh, I love Sam Whitworth's video about how he describes the whole fight scene process because you see the gradual shift as to who he's become as a Jedi. You know what I didn't notice? Than me. So I saw a thing about the Ahsoka series. This hidden detail a lot of people didn't pick up. There was a photo of Kane and Jarrus. Like Freddie Prince as Kane and Jarrus, that like she had, I, whether it was in her cockpit or something, like it was a small little detail you would have missed. But I would love to see Freddie Prince Jr. actually play Kanan. I would have loved to see like a flashback. Yeah.
Yeah. I really hate that there was no flashback to show Fulcrum and like the whole gang, but you can't. I mean, win they had the all. nice cartoon painting on the wall. At least they got that very on point. I know this is totally off topic of what we're talking about, but did you see the? Uh, did you see the thread feed of um, from Caesar's Palace? I did not. I will show it on here. There is an image that they posted. Oh, here it is. It's on Instagram. Let's see if I can pull it up. I'm going to pull this up on Instajuice. Share okay, your screen. Can you see this? He's holding a gladiator shield. I can't read the words. They're coming out with a gladiator too. What we do in life echoes in eternity. eternity. Gladiator I'm like, you know, I like Gladiator. Do we need a Gladiator too? The dude's dead. But that's the thing, though. Like, what, his son's not dead. Is his son not dead? Yeah, his kid was killed. Oh, the kid was killed. My bad. I don't know why. The kid I'm and wife that. were killed, and he was avenging them. And then he dies fighting Hakeem Phoenix. Did you say Hakeem? Hakeem. <laughs> Joaquin. Oh. Did you see the trailer? Oh, for uh, Joaquin Phoenix's The Joker? Hakeem! Fol Folie à deux. Folie à deux. My brother's like, is this a musical? I was like, yeah, because they're going crazy. <laughs> I think it looks good. I think so, too. I think it looks really good. You know what the messed up part is, though? I still haven't even seen The Joker. What are you doing? I don't, man. There's so many movies on my list. Dude, I, I still haven't even seen Dune. Which part? The first part. Well, you know what? Dune takes about eight hours to watch, so I get Dude, it. Dude, Dune I saw was a three and a half hour movie. It's it as long a, as the Avengers. The first one is not as great as the second one. <laughs> it's world building, so it's very slow and not a lot happening. And then part dos is where we get into some action. That's why I heard like the first part's really slow and you have to build the story. And then the second one just gives you a much more aggressive idea of what the character is going to become in the future. Yeah. Because I've seen the book series and I've been told that I need to read it. But yeah, no, I, I haven't... You can build Lego while you watch a movie, Supa. It's called multitasking. It's called multitasking. Oh, especially multi if you're going to build a... Uh, if, especially if you're going to build, like, really big sets. There is a t there's a TikTok content... There's a TikTok content creator out there. Jesus, I can't say my words. His name Just, is Jesus? I, I don't know that content creator. I said, Jesus, I can't say my words. <laughs> but there is a content creator out there who does... Um, they build really big sets while watching movies. What's funny to me is that they put the movie on loop <laughs> the entire time. I don't think I can watch the same movie on loop like that. Well, the one that the made Star me... Wars big set, obviously you watch all nine movies, like when you're building the UCS Millennium Falcon. Oh, well, yeah, no, she was building the UCS Millennium Falcon, and then she started from episode one and worked her way i think that's what she did i gotta find it now you guys say technically you can't really watch one through three when building the million falcon because it's not even in those movies besides that small little appearance in the third one let's see super you need to do that video where it's like me putting on a 85 minute disney movie to clean me 30 minutes later <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Just a thought. Serena Neal. Yeah, she's on TikTok and she built the... Let's see if I can find her TikTok. Yeah, I'm just I'm just shocked that she builds Lego. She's got like 3.6 million followers and she builds Lego. 
Uh, let's see. She even got the Venator. She's got the Ven Jesus. She's got the Venator, the Titanic, Gringotts. She's got a lot of sets there. A lot of big sets. Yeah, she does. She builds. Okay, so she does it in two parts. Here we go. <laughs> Her video is guys help. I'm ex I'm obsessed with Lego. Let's see if I can share the entire. Sounds like a personal thing. issue. I know, right? What it doesn't a even sound like an issue actually. I wonder if you can hear it. Legos. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's six bag one bags. This is just step one. I think I did see this video. <laughs> yeah, that deep in the movie, she's not very far. She restarted and went with the new hope. She's still not very far for. Her. Oh, dude, no, she does not get far at all. It's <laughs> hilarious right to me. Wait, you're starting with the wrong movies. What do you mean I'm starting with the wrong movies? That's not chronological order. That's movie relays order. <laughs> Start over. Back to the. Thing. I need that dude to <laughs> shut the hell up. I just built this. Oh, okay. She's oh, okay. Just I'll pause this real quick. Personal opinion. Are you a person who likes to watch it in chronological order or do you like to watch it in film release order? Much like the MCU, it is film release order. So, so that's the weird thing for me. Like, if I watch Star Wars, I start from episode four. If I watch... Marvel, I watch chronological order. Yeah, it's weird for me. What was that? Where do you start? I start with Captain America. Yeah. I watch. I start from that Captain America ass movie. That was a stepping stone movie. I watch for I. So I I did it to where I watched them when they released the movies. But for me, just a chronological storyline was a lot. It was just a lot better for me. And then every secret, like every secret ending, I just skipped over it. <laughs> wow. If I were going to watch Star Wars, I would watch it in timeline order. I definitely have watched it in timeline order. Cause I mean, right after, if you're gonna watch it in timeline order, yes, it's a good idea. We're no longer friends, Supa. But if I'm watching the movies by itself without the TV shows incorporated, I'm watching the fourth movie first. Watching episode four. But yeah, dude, she goes, she's not even finished with bag number one and she's watching back to number one. So this is about to end. I would say this took me one full movie. On to movie two. Yeah, like. Bags two. A bag two she finished while she was in movie two. Okay. Five bags. So threes. similar question then. Video games. Ooh, that's a good one. Would it be uh timeline or would it be release order? Uh it depends. Like if I'm playing what game are you talking about? Like what are we talking Halo. about? Specific game? Halo, okay. I would play release. That's just me though. Assassin's Creed. Ooh, again, release. Because here's the tricky thing is the current timeline, like la present day order is canologically with a release order, but the timelines that you travel back to. Oh yeah, that's the interesting part. Um, because we yeah, no. only recently got um ancient egypt ancient greece which is before egypt yeah but in present day the girl goes to ancient egypt before she goes to ancient greece and then the same with valhalla is that's released see valhalla is one of my valhalla i liked it i enjoyed a lot more than I like odyssey 
I have not played Mirage. Mirage was not. Uh, it was, uh, I think really I I had I really need to you know play it just to find out what happens. Yeah, I didn't really care for uh, Mirage. I like. Well, I take that back. I did like Odyssey. Odyssey was a good one. I liked. Odyssey was cool. It got a bad rep, but I liked it. Well, it got I a liked... bad rep because the other the other one came out. Mirage. I think Mirage came out at the same time that nope. was it. Mirage or was it the other one? So it was Origins, which is ancient. Oh, Egypt. that's it. Then, like a year later, was Odyssey, which is ancient Greece. But we learned that the protagonist's wife in Origins is the granddaughter of the people in Odyssey, or great granddaughter. It's one of the two. Yeah, no. I mean, if I were and so. Then... Me then playing... it would technically jump to either. I guess it would jump to Mirage. After, yeah. because that's more present than probably first Assassin's Creed, and then you would go Vikings before you get to Ezio. You know what a good chronological game is? Call of Kingdom Duty. Hearts. Call of Duty, yes. But Kingdom Hearts is another good one. Call of Duty was not good release order because back in Prime Xbox 360 days, we got Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Call of Duty World of War, <laughs> Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Black Ops, <laughs> Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Dude, Call of Duty Ghost, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I forgot about that. Ghost was terrible. What am I thinking about? I'm thinking about who is on our. Think about who is on our roster. Because of how you would watch Super. Oh, dude, I completely forgot. I'm lo- sorry. This is like totally off kilter of what we're trying to do on the show. I think it's funny. We have no one next week for an episode. <laughs> Guests. Four applications now to join us next week. Please submit them. <laughs> yeah, Instagram. we don't. We don't have another guest until um the 25th i completely forget that i thought we had somebody like next week no we don't we doth we don't not have a, a person um we could invite somebody just for like hey <laughs> this is totally last minute but hey would we're gonna you post like the it? link to our story first person to join you're the guest Oh my god, do you know how bad that would be if we did get someone who just randomly, out of nowhere, hey, I just uh, figured I'd be invited on the podcast. That's my boy. My boy. I volunteer, I volunteer as tribute. There's so, listening. now I will say this, and um, I'll say this though. God, this, <laughs> I think it's funny, this episode's just all a Kerouac just talking. This is like a normal conversation for Jake and I when we're on a phone call. Yeah. We're like trying to do things, but we're still talking. Pretty much. Um, Going into Lego conversation, though, because I know that's oh. something we definitely want to talk about. So there are new sets coming out very soon. And we had stated that we had agreed before we aired the episode that we were going to give that content to a fellow lover of said theme and that's going to be for our special guest when they come your sound kind of cut out i don't know if it's just me can you hear me now yes (laughs) yeah my bad so the i will say this let me see if i can find the downloads did I download the screenshot of all the peoples? No, I did not. That is terrible. Well, our next special guest will be on the twenty. A mystery. It's not really a mystery. She was posted for next week. The... It's a mystery. Oh, for next week, it's a mystery. Yeah, but for the the twenty fifth, which is two weeks from now, um, that is the Mandalorian. So we're gonna save a lot of our stuff. We're gonna we're gonna have to stay. We're gonna have to save a lot of the Star Wars content for her. We'll ask her can, canon canon or release order. You can oh, add that to the this or that. That could be a this or that. Or 
We can. Well, I don't know. We could probably either cannon order or uh, release order. Or we can think of something else. I don't know. We can always think of another question. I feel like that's... She'll probably already be like, oh yeah, I like watching it canon. Or, I like watching it in uh, chronological order. I already got my this or that released. for her. You got your this or that? Are we going to yeah. save that one? Well, no, it's not really a this or that. It's just a question. Dang it. It's just a question. We'll save that for later, yeah. Um, that'd be hilarious if she was watching right now. I don't think she is, though. It's like, hi, I'm here. It's like, the book. <laughs> It's like Jake wants to ask a question. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> Do you want to build a Lego? Listen, Mom. I'm still upset that somebody took away my sound on TikTok. What sound did you create again? I didn't create it, but somebody had it. It's like, do you want to kill some rebels? Oh. That video had a shit ton of views and likes, and I was just muted. Oh my god, that's right! You had the minifigures all lined out. Mm-hmm. Dude, I felt bad for yours. Muted. Um, 63,000 likes or views. Dude, that sucks. I wonder if I still have mine. Actually, hold on. Oh, my favorite movie. Uh, let's I guess see. I should unpin that one since it's no longer popping. Apparently TikTok just does not want to air on here at all. Let's see if I can find my video. Cause that was a fun video. Do you want to build a Lego? <laughs> I'm still... <laughs> I still love who was it? Michael Bishop's video. That one had me giggling. God, that was a long time ago. Dude, I'm actually like scrolling through my page right now. I'm looking at all my old videos. I need to get back to I need to get back to posting content on TikTok. It's There's another one that's missing. This is the one where I don't know even what the sound was. It was like we were all doing something in a video. And the sound's Ooh. gone. I have no idea. If you just look. Oh, even this one with the walking away in the blankets, the sound's been muted. Dun 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 Where are thou video? I really would hate if some of these videos that I just have have been like completely muted. Let's see. Even the funny one I did of, you know, what is the meaning of life? 42. The sound's gone. Oh, it was my New Year video. That's what that was. Let's see. Even some of my advent calendar, I don't... Ah, oh, even my Christmas morning feeling videos muted. They took away a lot of sounds. I don't like it. I would really hate if my other one got taken away. And my That one's still there. Dude, no way. Some of my videos are actually missing. <gasps> what? Some of my videos are missing, bro. Did they delete some of them? They might have. You don't mind going to Disney. <laughs> What? Dude, they took a lot of, wait, a lot of sounds. They took away a lot of my videos. Your proposal video got muted. No. Listen, we gotta very much prepare. I can't find the for one. the truth of that. We may be losing TikTok soon. I can't find my video. This is sad. I'm trying to find our side by side video of it too. I'm scrolled very far back. This is super sad. Oh, I still love this. <laughs> Do you find it? Do you 
Build a Lego. Build a Lego. <laughs> 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 oh, wait a minute. I gotta go to my. I gotta go to this page. Here we go. I found the sound. How old is that? I'll send it to you. That's hilarious. Hold on, wait. I'm actually going on my page right now. Do you want to build a Lego? Let's see. When's the last time somebody used it? Let's see. My own sounds. There we go. 731-2022. Dude. It was Fred, whoever that is. But there's Ginger Lady did on 728. I All definitely need to get builder that on seven twenty nine. Sure, screen. Your original was seven twenty five, so it was popular for about a week. <laughs> By a week, I mean about six days. Whose one did you say is really screen. good? There's Brick Life. There's me. Turbo Toast. Dayton Brick Shop. My name That's Alex, good. Mando Lynch, Jackson the Books, Window. Galen. Alright, so bear with me as far as like the <laughs> system audios. You're gonna probably hear duplicates, which sucks. So actually, can I share my tab? No, I can't. I'm make this sound come back. <laughs> yeah, you're so hell bent on it. It's like, give me my sound back. Oh, what am I doing? Duh. My own sounds. Here we go. Let's share the page. <laughs> Here comes the Lego whore to the Lego store. Here comes. Here comes. Brick friends? Do you want to build a Lego? <laughs> Dude, these were funny. They were. I definitely need to... Uh, hold on, wait a minute. I just think it's hilarious how there are so many people that came along and did this. Somebody did it with actual snow. Right? Um, Allie. The one <laughs> I thought was... So Bish has made me... Dude, this was foolish. Fun. That's pre Mohawk. Oh, pre. Uh... Thought it was the police. He said. <laughs> oh, dude, I forgot. Uh, where is it? Just us scrolling through memories. Dude, it was hilarious. Um, here you go. This Galaxy is one of my favorites. Oh, there's Bishop. <laughs> Do you want to build a Lego? <laughs> Come on, let's go and play. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta see if he did that one first, or did I do my falling over one? Dude, Bish made me freaking laugh, man. He was like, I hope you like mine. And I, he sent it to me. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, no, I I thoroughly enjoyed this. Brick friends? No. Whoops. I know I need to get back to making my own sounds, though, because I remember this one. Do you remember this one? Uh, click on the sounds. Mine was perfect. Honey. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny. Jenny. I'm broke again. again. <laughs> it's a big box. Spend my money on that set. From your face, you're mad, I bet. Honey, it's a Star Wars set. 
<laughs> but now I cannot help and pay the bills. <laughs> Dude, that was funny. Yeah, we need to bring back some songs. I'm rogue again. Where? Now, I did. So this one, I thoroughly enjoyed this one right here. So. This one really hit it off all on my mind. Sometimes I think about Lego. Each night and in the afternoon, these sets be pricey as hell, but they make me happier now. Sometimes. So that Go. one really popped off. It made like 251 videos on it. And the guy who really blew off with this was Brixie. Ooh. And then Brixie popped in on my, uh, Brixie popped in on my live. And he followed me. Sometimes I think about Lego. And the dude had 489.8 thousand likes. These sets be pricey as hell, but they make me happy. Like Brixie's now. always everybody's Sometimes talking about Brixie. I get sent Sometimes probably one Brixie video every two days. It's oh, usually dude. like the same video of the basement. I'm like, oh. You I wish I had it. Lego set. Just prepare for massive debt. It's because you'll buy too much. You'll be so broke. <laughs> Dude, I love This is the that thing one. is we could very well lose these sound bites though when we lose TikTok. If I lose these sound bites, I will be so you sad. You need to save them or something. Figure out how to get them. I'm just gonna start recording on my own computer. Just start. That's start it. Doing I mean, it. I'll, I'll do it right here, right now. When you buy a Lego set, um, Supa, no, we were not. We need to do a screen right. recording of the episode because. Oh yeah, we have to do a screen recording. That sucked for us. I was so 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 mad because Rob and Zane, Rob, I think Rob texted me and he was like, "Dude, did you were you able to save any of the footage that you downloaded?" And I was like, "Yeah, of course. Why? What's up?" Yeah, we need to go ahead and delete footage. And I'm like, "Oh my god, we need to discuss upping the storage." Why? Oh no, I asked. I was like, "Upping the storage." Like, bro, I can donate. <laughs> We could donate five bucks. Sometimes all I think about is like, oh. Um, I know this this episode we we actually did have something in store, and of course we had our guests, but it gives us time to honestly just catch up, which is a nice thing, and it's kind of it's like a nice mellow episode for us. But we did want to talk about Lego. I know I said that earlier, but we're actually going to talk about Lego now. And this yeah. is just for the ending of it, of course. But um, with Lego coming out in the future months with brand new sets, they also are coming out with brand new minifigures, which I am super excited about. And I bang, bang, and what's the hang? Pop this off here. Can I pop off a slideshow? What? Pop it off. Pop, pop. I didn't know I can add slides from here. This is insane. I like this. I'm about to save this slideshow. Mm -hmm. Present slides. Your computer. Upload file. I don't have a file. This is sad. <laughs> Let's see if I can save this. Dude, I am super excited about this. Let's see here. There we go. Download. All right, now I can present my slides from my computer. Upload file. Sweet. And 
it's processing. Process, <laughs> process, process. Oh, that Ooh. is dope. That's too cool. I probably should have just shared the screen because I'm going to have to end, end up editing it anyway. <laughs> you done messed up, A.A. Ron. I know. I done messed up. <laughs> well, that's always fun. But we're going to present it the way that I have it assumed. Entire screen. Share. Ta-da. All right. So the brand new Lego minifigures are coming out May 1st, 2024. It is series number 26, and it is a space theme minifigure set. Uh, space has really been taking up a lot of the Lego content nowadays, whether it is mm -hmm. dreams, whether it's friends, whether it's city. Or just space. Or just space. It's taking up a lot of Lego space. There's a lot space of space. Space is taking up space, guys. Space, space is taking up space. But we've got brand new Lego yeah. minifigures. Series 26. They're coming out, and they're coming out May 1st, 2024. Alongside with a lot of the May the 4th sets that are coming out. But we're not going to talk about that right now. We're going to talk about that on a later episode. But... Let's go over the brand new minifigures that are going to be joining us. So first off, we have Orion. Your sound is doing that weird thing again. Oh my God, come on. Hello, can you hear me? Fast, fast, one, two, one, two. Papa, can you hear me? Papa, can you hear me? Okay, bye. God, nobody ever really pointed that out besides Ryan Reynolds. Exactly. All right, so the first two minifigures that we have up are Orion, fashionably holding oh, a oh, oh, very Ryan. translucent club and a giant shield with the Orion constellation on it. And then we have an Mtron power lifter. Loving it. Very much so. Loving it. Next up, we have the Blacktron Mutant and an alien Beetlezoid. He does have two arms on the one side. It does have the two arms on one side. And then he's also got the uh he's also got the reptilian leg right there. It does. Which is really, really cool. He might just be a little mutant. Yeah, well, I mean he's Blacktron Mutant. A little, a little mutant right there. Next up, we have the space walking astronaut and the alien tourist, which I think this is kind of cute, actually. He's wearing the fedora. He's cute. Rob's going to love that one. He's wearing a fedora. He's going to be twinning. Rob needs more Lego fedoras, okay? He can never yes, have too does. many. Now, I am digging the space walking astronaut. That's I don't get what the extra really arms are right there. By... Well... Right here? I, mean, I guess it's like his controls if he's spacewalking. Yeah, that's his controls. Brings him back to the ship or whatever. Yeah, they're supposed to be where the joysticks are. Joystick movement. All right, next up is the Ice Planet Explorer and Retro Space Heroine. The Retro Space Heroine comes with a gold blaster as well as a space pug, which is weird. Yeah, I think it's a robotic pug. pug. It looks like a robotic pug. Yeah. And then for the Ice Planet Explorer, you get a heated chainsaw as well as a penguin in a suit. Hmm. Interesting. That's it. What's funny to me is this almost looks like a Bionicle dressed in a minifigure. <laughs> Doesn't it look like uh, like Kopaka or something like that? A little bit. I could see it. Kind of. All right, oh, next up is the baby. robot butler and nurse android. The nurse android comes with a pink space baby bottle. And of course, the butler, robot butler, comes with a pot and a whisk. Kind of reminds me of the um, Lost in Space robot, the butler. I don't know why. I'm thinking, oh, well, I was thinking of like the Jetsons droid. Danger, um, Robinson family. Danger. <laughs> 
Let's see here. And then I think this is the last one before we go to the special one. A flying saucer costumer fan or costume fan. I don't know why I said costumer fan. Jeez. A flying saucer costume fan, which is this guy right here. And a imposter. <laughs> what is he impostering? That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, what is he impostering? Is he, is he like, um, oh, what's that game? With the little guys that go around and they murder. You gotta find the murderer. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's slipping my mind. But those are the um those are the brand new minifigures that will be coming out May 1st. And I asked Jake right before the uh, podcast episode started, let's do a draft. Yeah, I'm not going to remember their names. <laughs> so I am going to give you some time to go to the Lego website and wow. pull it up. Wow. Because Loki. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna separate the slide off. I mean, they're on the Lego website. I'm looking at it. I don't see names. There you go. Their names are underneath in the different section of photos. Hold on, I'll show you. I'm sharing screens right now, so you don't have to worry about it. Coming soon. And here they are, right there. Okay. Can you see it? I'm just gonna pull it up on my screen because I got bad eyes. Fair enough. I'm so weird. <laughs> I'm so weird. All right, right off the bat, I'm gonna go with. Hold up now. Orion. Who said you get to go first? I choose you, Pikachu. <laughs> who said you could go first? I just went on Joe's. That's who. Orion. We're gonna play this out the real way. We love names. For two names. Actually, let me lowercase that one. Oh, it just feels right. Wow. Okay. Ring a ding ding. We give the wheel a good spin. <laughs> I demand a recount. <laughs> okay, how about best two out of what three? What is this? No, it's fine. You sure? It's not that deep. Mm. Who are you going with? Who am I going with? Um, yeah. Dude, there's so many good ones up here. But I'm going to have to go with Orion because that dude looks badass. Mm -hmm, big shocker. Well, you know what? Mr. Ice Planet Explorer is going to cut through that shield with his fire chainsaw. Oh, dude, you're going for the Ice Planet Explorer? Nice. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with the Blacktron Mutant. Okay, okay. Well, Space Heroine is the only one with a laser gun, so I'm going to go with her. So let's see here. Retro space harrow. Why am I spelling it wrong? Heroin. Okay. Um I am gonna go with I'm gonna go with this I'm gonna go with this character because he's he just has a lot to offer as far as like parts. And he just looks really badass. I'm gonna go with the space walking astronaut. that case i'm gonna go with the mtron power lifter so it can lift you up and throw you away uh. <laughs> i'm assuming these guys are for war i don't know apparently i don't know how to type all right um let's see we've got orion's gone so this entire tab's gone uh this one's gone this one's gone and then this one is completely taken by you you're welcome <laughs> you've got the one with pets on it that's messed up yeah 
That means extra figures to beat your people. <laughs> I got to do it with an extra hand. Don't be like that. I'm going to go, dude. I'm going to yeah, chop those extra hands off dude, with my power. I'm totally stuff. taking that square away. I'm going to go with the alien beetlezoid. Well, in that case, I'm going to take the nurse android because I'm sure she's like IG-11 and she would do anything to defend that child. <laughs> If you're gonna take very nurse, passionate, if you're taking the nurse android, I am taking the robot butler. Well, then I'll take the imposter because he's you're gonna imposter himself onto your team and self sabotage. Ooh, so this comes down to the alien tourist or the uh, flying saucer costume fan. Is he I'm an alien, or is he just like a normal person in a cost like in a head? Piece. Well, we're gonna call him. We're gonna call him an alien tourist because I'm gonna go with the alien tourist. I meant the the flying saucer guy. That's what I'm talking about. I think he's just got a painted face green, which means you go for the flying saucer costume fan. Yeah, my team wins. I mean, we're gonna have to leave that up to the folks here. That might be our. Uh... <laughs> This just in from the future. Jake's team wins. So I definitely have to. Uh, I definitely am going to have to like create an edit on this. As far as our series 26 space draft. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to. You're like this guy and I'm like this lady. She's just you're nothing. <laughs> What does this layout look like? Oh, never mind. We don't want to do that layout. We're going to keep this wow. layout. Wow. Kicking me out because I beat your team. A bull butter. Dude, my team is stacked. And we're going to ask everybody from TikTok. Um, you've only got like three weapons on your team. I've got a club and a shield. I've got two blasters. Did you not see my guy with the two hands? Are you going to get me with the whisk from the butler? I probably will. Are you going to get me with a water bottle? Whisk me away. Are you going to get me with the milk bottle? Um, she's an IG-11. She'll destroy. <laughs> and that then I got chainsaw is going to cut through you while the retro space heroines over there are like, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> All I want to do is pew, 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 pew. So physicality, I think you might have gotten me. But as far as overall looks, I think I'm going to kill you with my looks. <laughs> But those looks can't kill, sweetie. <laughs> those looks can't kill, sweetie. Don't know what you're talking about. I see me now. You don't because you lost. We're definitely going to make a video about this. And then, of course, we're just going to be like, who do you think won? Round one. <laughs> Space warrior. <laughs> I still need to do the... Uh... Space adventure. <laughs> I still need to do uh, the series minifigure. Uh, randomizer. Which one's that? Remember when I did the oh, which yeah. minifigure are you? Yeah, I need to get back to doing that. Yeah, get back active on TikTok before it goes away. Exactly. I'm very clearly an optimist here. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's not a bad list. Yeah, mine. It's totally awesome. <laughs> We are, we're going to see who's going to like win this up. I'm definitely going to do like a whole Pokemon theme idea where I'm going to have your face and then all the minifigs that you have around you. Yeah. But um, I think it's a nice way to kind of close this out for the day. I think so. It was a it was a nice short episode. It's a nice short episode we can put out. And Supa has been super amazing in the chat. He was. We definitely and appreciate her for being here. And then foolish making is one. <laughs> it's like one phrase up here. Yeah. Foolish, you still there, dude? I'm gonna ask the chat. What do you? What do we think of the uh, the draft list? Who's who's got the better list? Don't be afraid to say it, people. Don't be scared to say it. Jake no, might kick right. you out of the chat though. <laughs> If you answer wrong. Jake wins. Wow. Three. Thank you. Thank you, commenters. Um, we really appreciate <laughs> yeah. that. Wow. 
so kind. I, you know, <laughs> couldn't have asked for a better response. What ELPN saying that Jig wins? What in this? The world has the hell is frozen over. Hell is frozen over. <laughs> Look at that. That's super <laughs> Jake. And then, and then Jake's doppelganger. Mohawk says hi. He just can't text. He is driving. We got 30 minutes left of the drive. Yeah, they're on their way to Milwaukee. They're stuck in yeah. Chicago. 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 My kind of town. Chicago <laughs> is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, before well, before we before you get to do your little phrase. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to put the overlay. God, I don't know why I paused. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to do this super, super quickly. So if you want to find the podcast episodes, you just need to go to Brick at Night on ELPN on Spotify as well as Apple Podcasts. These episodes will be airing every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you put the ring notification on there so hit the bell icon and then of course if you want to see any more content that we have you'll also want to go to tiktok as well as instagram at brick at night elpn and then of course if you want to catch us live on youtube you want to come here every thursday night at 9 p.m eastern standard time and we're going to be on the elpn channel and then of course last but not least let's not forget about the two content creators that make up this channel at lego jake three as well as myself at ken.nerd if you want to follow our individual content pages please check out those links right there and you'll find our names both under instagram as well as TikTok. TikTok don't stop but the party TikTok don't stop on the no. clock whoa whoa whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now the party don't stop to I walk <laughs> in. <laughs> Call JG24733. <laughs> Call JG. What for? 877 Cash <laughs> Now. 877 Cash Now. I just want Jake to stop singing and I need cash now. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I had to create the banner. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, on that note, you want to take it away, Mr. Nerd? Yeah, why not? I think I could pull it off since I did it last week. All right. I'll go ahead and end the stream off for the night. From all of us here at Brick at Nights, ladies and gentlemen, nighty night. <laughs>